guys, it is the JMPXX here with another Destiny 2 Curse of Osiris video. This time it's going to be on the Crucible. That's right, I'm going to be showing you guys two new Crucible maps, a bunch of weapons that we got to try, uh, mostly on one weapon, to be completely honest. Uh, some changes that I noticed while I was playing on that certain build that we were playing over there by, at Bungie. Uh, it's some pretty exciting stuff. I don't know if it's going to be in the final build, but I'm going to tell you guys in this video. So stay tuned to the video to find out more. So when we were playing, you know, we only got to play four matches of Crucible. Not much at all. We got to play two matches on each map. Uh, Pacifica, which is not really my type of map. I didn't really enjoy Pacifica. Maybe it was because, you know, I didn't know the map at all. And I was just get, I was just dying a lot by heavy and a lot of team shots. But yeah, you guys already know me. I absolutely dislike dying by heavy and team shots. Also, just a reminder, there is going to be a couple uh, skip frames because like I said in one of my previous videos, I messed up recording all of this gameplay. Uh, that sucks for me. And also, you know, I don't want to sound like I'm making excuses, but we did get to use regular PS4 controllers. And, uh, you know, I used a scuff, and then I switched to the regular PS4 controller, and it was just like, oh my god, what the hell is this? So my aim was a little off during the Crucible matches, alright? The second map is Warm Haven. Warm Haven. This map I actually like it a little bit better than Pacifica, just because, you know, it just felt a lot better. It wasn't so tight, so close cover like uh like uh, pacifica a pacifica i just don't like that map not at all not at all but warm haven i actually liked it a lot there's some pretty good sight lines that you can uh you know uh just take and uh, a lot of the action is going to take in the middle of the map oh, yeah one thing that i want to mention i'm not sure if this is final if this will be on the ps4 version of destiny 2 but what i noticed was that we were playing uh on 60 fps and I believe, I'm not too exactly sure if it was on PC or PS4 because we were using a PS4 controller, but the the, the build that we had, uh, it felt like we were playing on console because of all the recoil that we had, and it was 60 FPS. And I'm not too exactly sure if uh, they're going to update Destiny 2 to 60 FPS on console. That would be insanely awesome if they did, but uh, what, we, what I played was 60 FPS on console with the recoil of console not pc because you know pc has almost every gun is a laser beam on pc so i would have noticed right away it might have been pc but i have no idea it felt more like 60 fps console it was, it was pretty crazy also i did get to try a couple weapons i used the auto rifle you know the auto rifles are still good i use a sidearm sidearms are still good like the three round burst like the last hope they had to have another one <laughs> another one that thing was actually pretty good, but not better than the last hope. I use a scout rifle, you know, scout rifles are still pretty good. You know, my preferred type of scout rifles are the 180 rate of fire. That's the one that I was using in this video. And also, I believe, I believe, there, there will be a brand new rate of fire hand cannon. Now, in, in the build that I play, it was 180 RPM. There's going to be a brand new type of rate of fire hand cannons with the coming of Curse of Osiris. It was pretty good. It did uh, 70, no, not 70. It did a uh, 47 headshot, which would take a, a Guardian out with five headshots. But it fired pretty quickly. And the, the, uh, the hand cannon that I was using, man, it felt extremely, extremely crispy. I got, I needed to get used to it first because, you know, in Destiny 2, I don't really use hand cannons. Not at all, like, trust me, not even at all. But this hand cannon, man, it felt so crispy. It's the hand cannon I'm using in this gameplay. It's so damn good. Like, you guys have no idea. I asked a lot of other people that I was playing with and against if they liked the hand cannon. They said that it sucked the booty. And I'm like, I'm like what? What? Are, are you serious? This thing was so good. It had uh, uh, the only the only perk that I remember it having. It had, you heard nothing from me. So it, it, was, it was, you heard nothing from me. And it was just so accurate. Now, um, I believe, I'm not 100% sure on this, but I believe that they, Bungie, I think they might have removed Bloom. Yeah, on the hand cannons, because that hand cannon that I was using felt so crispy. And it had like almost no recoil, no joke. So I don't know, they might have removed Bloom from hand cannons, maybe? I have no idea, we just need to wait more until the final, you know, until the DLC comes. But that is what I experienced, it was so damn accurate, and that hand cannon was just so damn good. 180 RPM. When Curse of Osiris drops, one of my priorities is going to be trying to get that hand cannon. It, it was just, it was just amazing. I was, I was in love with that thing. Like I don't even use hand cannons in D, D2 that much, and using that hand cannon, 
Ooh, it was so damn good. Also, another thing that I noticed while I was playing in the Crucible or just like a PvE in general in this build that we were playing is that, you know, the, the, the charges, the melee charges, like the shield bash, shoulder charge, and whatever the other bash is called from the Titans. Uh, you know, when you're in midair and you use your bash and you lunge forward, yeah, that doesn't really happen too much in the build that I was playing, so... Uh, I don't know, man. They might have changed that so where it doesn't lunge, or maybe you need more momentum when you're you're sprinting in order to, to activate the lunge. But when I was playing, I didn't lunge as much as I normally do in our current build of Destiny 2 right now. Another thing I want to say, remember, I'm not the best at explaining things, so don't blame me. All right, guys, so that is pretty much it. I, I think I'm missing something, but I just it just doesn't come out of my head. Uh, so, you know... Um, I think we're probably going to get 60 FPS on consoles. Uh, not too exactly sure. I'm not. I'm not. Po I'm not super positive on that. It's, it's a possibility though. But uh, maybe Bloom is going to be removed from hand cannons, which is actually be pretty good because the hand cannon I was using was so damn crispy, man. You guys have no idea until you get your hands on it. And uh, what else? What else? Titans are going to get a little nerf on the on the little bash. Maybe. Uh, I'm not exactly sure, but I did feel that like. Uh, my my bashes weren't lunging as much as they do right now in Destiny 2. So yeah guys, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. Remember that I freaking love you and until next time. What do you think about these changes? Do you think it would happen? 60 FPS consoles? Remove Bloom from hand cannons. What do you guys think? Nerf to Titan lunge on the shield bashes striker thing and flaming thing. Anyways, remember that I freaking love you. Later. <laughs>